lovely viewers. So today I'm with my friend Brandy. Hi! And we are going to the California Wolf Center where they are trying to preserve different whoa, sorry guys. A little bunk there. Um they're trying to reserve or preserve different wolf packs. We'll find out more once we get there, but we're uh, we're driving through the windy roads up to Julian almost there, sort of, maybe, I don't know, I think there's like a dirt road we have to stop and then get like an escort. We're waiting for an escort to get here because they have this sign that says stop wolf center guests wait for escort so i'm guessing they're gonna lead all of us down this one way road dirt road yes behind a minivan so we're going up oh oh sorry it's guys it's kind of bouncy in here but we're going up the dirt road we're almost there they go to the winter that's where the wolf will do and in some cases a bear what a bear is really going to do to get meat like like venison is they're going to bully the wolf off the car That rubbing that she's doing, she's actually putting her scent on that tree. She likes that tree, that's not awesome. Here's Z coming up from our tree. So, Z on the left is the male. He's about 10 years old. And 11 is the male. And that kicking that he's doing, that's the further spread out. That's the wolves don't really understand that we can't interpret all those things like other wolves can. They're still making a statement. They're in different ways. Some of you might be able to see that dark spot on the base of her tail. That's where they have that single in there. So the wolves can process probably eight or ten smells at a time. Humans are only really able to. Just 
happens that they howl at the time that the moon is out, so everyone thinks they're howling at the moon. But really, it's sort of like a roll call, and they have, it's sort of like a singing that they do. So once they take a breath, they'll howl again, but in a different tone. So it sounds like the pack is larger than it actually is, so. And then also I learned gray wolves. Some of you might wonder why they're called gray wolves when their colors can be different. There's all black ones, there's all white ones, and then, you know, of course there's the, the gray ones. But they're gray because they have a under layer of fur that is gray no matter what. They only reproduce once a year. Oh yeah. That's not every couple mates. You know, there's a pack, doesn't, but there's only usually one mating couple in that pack, which is why, you know, the reproduction is trickier for them. Um, but yeah, no, I think what the California Wolf Center, what they're doing is amazing. Um, and the way they're doing things, you know, segregating off the new packs and kits and stuff like that, so they have a more likely chance of being re-released into the wild. It's all good. Wolves that are in captivity, well, they can actually live like 15 years. Some of them they've had live up to 17 years. But wolves in the wild, they really only live about, what, four or five years? So it's like two, once they're two years, they're old enough to go out and like be on their own. So they were saying they only really have two to three years to mate and have a litter and you know, that's insane. <laughs> so what they're doing is really important work. If you have a wolf center to go visit and um, help out, you know, your, I don't know if every place has a local wolf center or not, but go to one that's nearest you and find out more about what you can do to help the wolves because we do need them for the ecosystem too. That's all for today. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Brandy, for this really awesome, awesome episode and activity to do. So until next time, everyone, hit that subscribe button.